top EU stories from the unit website on tonight's nightly news include Eurocrats warn Cameron he cannot pick and choose new laws. Scotland asks for an audience with Barroso. Rumpoy, Barroso and Schultz take Nobel to the museum. And Dr Eric Edmund is back with a look at Greek bond buybacks. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. Top of today's homepage, Cecilia Malmström has taken a stick to David Cameron, warning DC he cannot pick and choose new laws. Cecilia insisted that accepting cross-border crime fighting was not up for debate. Going on to say, on each of these opt-ins there will have to be negotiation and then member states will have to agree. Malmström's intervention is a stark warning that Eurocrats will fight to keep Britain tied into the EU. This is such a good story and demonstrates just how deeply the UK is stuck in the Eurobog. Scotland has also discovered the rose-coloured garden of independence is full of thorns. Mr Salmon's ministers are in a spin over Manuel Barroso's announcement that should Scotland achieve independence, it won't be a member of the EU. Nicola Sturgeon said, No serious person can argue that it is anything other than in the interests of the EU to keep Scotland in continuous membership, given this country's huge natural resources in energy and other aspects which make us such a valuable European partner. My take is that the EU won't want Scotland to take a membership by proxy, as that would not give the European Commission the control it requires over those very natural resources. This story is in for the long haul, and we'll keep you posted. The Rumpoy Barroso Schultz bandwagon has passed go in the city of Oslo. Collecting £750,000 and a Nobel Peace Prize, it swiftly rolled off back to Brussels to deposit said item in what will be called the House of European History. Critics said that the European Union did not deserve the award, but Herman von Rompuy said, The EU is going through a difficult period. I'm sure we will succeed. Well, I've no doubt the prize was indeed dusty after its travels, so giving it a wash over with a damp rag is probably just the job. Reading this next story from Dr Eric Edmund, it seems that the writing is on the wall for the Greeks. A bond buyback was only just enough to keep the deep pockets of the IMF in place. As ever, Eric has got the measure of this befuddling fiscal fudgery, and links to the full article are below. Today in our video library we have part three of the BBC's special report Greece Bust and Broken which is presented by Stacey Dooley and links to the story are below. Well that's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website www.theunit.com you can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.